Good morning everyone. This is Professor McGowan and I am going to do a series of hypersensitivity reaction videos for you. Remember in class that we talked about four types of hypersensitivities. The first one would be your type 1. And your type 1, remember, is going to be IgE mediated. Type 2 is tissue specific reactions. Tissue specific reactions. I'm just going to put Rx there. And this is a reaction against a specific cell or tissue. The next one is type 3. And type 3 is immune complex mediated. The last one is type 4. And type 4 is going to be cell mediated. And we're going to talk individually about each one and the mechanisms um, that make these things happen. Now remember that type 2 and type 3 are both related to antibodies. But the difference between type 2 and type 3 is in type 2, the antibody is going to bind to the antigen on the cell surface. Okay, so on cell surface. Type 3, the antibody is going to bind to the antigen in um, blood or bodily fluids. So the antibody will bind to antigen in blood or body fluids. All right, so we will start with type 1 and work our way through. All right, so with type 1 hypersensitivity, you're going to see this in figure um, 08-11 in your books and I'm going to explain it a little bit further. So what you have is an allergen and this allergen is going to come over and attach itself to the mucosal cells and the allergen is then going to go through the mucosal cells and it is going to attach itself to the B cells. The B cells are then going to produce IgE. And IgE is then going to attach itself to mast cells. So this is what happens when there is initial exposure. So this is initial exposure to an allergen. And the IgE is going to sit on those mast cells. And a lot of times, you're not going to have a reaction the first time you're exposed to an allergen. So let's talk about re-exposure. So here's your antigen or your allergen right here and it is going to go through the muco uh, mucosal cells and what happens is that allergen is going to attach itself 
directly to that IgE on the mast cell. And what's going to happen is this mast cell is going to degranulate. And when it degranulates, if you can remember what is released, we have a couple things that are released, but one of the big ones that's re that is released is going to be your histamine. And your histamine is going to cause a lot of those clinical manifestations that you see, such as itching, mild breathing problems, um, edema, uh, smooth muscle contraction. So you're going to see a lot of different things happening once this um, histamine is released. So this is your type 1 hypersensitivity with initial exposure and then re-exposure. Alright guys, so that wraps up type 1. Um, we will do another video series next with type 2 and then we'll wrap it up with type 3 and 4. Thanks for watching.